Peter Hotez now, co-director of the Center for Vaccine Development at Texas Children's Hospital. Doctor, thank you. Good to see you again. Variants of COVID, including the South Africa one, are spreading right now in America. What's your level of concern and have we done enough to get ahead? Yeah, so this is a, a big problem and uh, compounded by the fact that we haven't been looking. We've been so profoundly underperforming in genomic sequencing, which is how we pick up these UK, South African, uh, Brazilian variants. So we know they're in South Carolina, but they could be elsewhere. And the problem is they're outcompeting the other strains. So the Centers for Disease Control now says that by the spring, the UK variant could be dominant in the US and now maybe the South African one. And uh, so, and because they're more transmissible, it means more Americans will become infected. So even though we've had a slight decrease in the number of new cases, we went from 250,000 confirmed new cases a day to about 180,000. The expectation now is going to go back up because of these new variants. More people are going to get infected, start over overwhelming hospital systems again, and possibly the death rate will start to go up, both from a combination of more new cases in general, and also they may have slightly higher mortality rates just uh, from the variant, just by the nature of the variant. So we're in for a tough, tough ride here. We, you know, we're kind of in the eye of the hurricane now. Things went down a little bit, but now we're going to get hit pretty hard. And it's certainly not the time to let down our guard, masks and distancing. Dr. Hotez, COVID cases in children have been low during the pandemic, generally speaking. But there has been a 16 percent increase of infection among kids in the past few weeks. Do we know why? And should parents be doing anything different now as a result? I don't think we know. Is it because of the uh, new variants? You know, when the South African variant emerged in South Africa, the thinking was it had a predilection for kids, that kids were getting infected at higher rates. Now we think it's just that it's infecting uh, all, all ages. So we really don't know. But it's going to, because these virus variants are more transmissible, this provides extra worry for the fall school year of what things are going to look like. The bottom line is we're going to have to find a way to vaccinate the American people faster than the current projections. One, in order to uh, reduce hospitalization and death, but also to get ahead of these variants. If we can vaccinate three quarters of the American population, we can potentially interrupt transmission and prevent some of these new variants from becoming dominant. But the question is, do we have the vaccines to do that now? The, the Biden administration talked about uh, having more mRNA vaccines by the fall. Th that won't be adequate for that purpose. It'll be good for boosters later on, potentially. But if we're really going to stop transmission, I think we're going to have to be a little more uh, innovative in terms of bringing on the AstraZeneca vaccine. The European uh, medicine agencies will likely approve that mm -hmm. one tomorrow for emergency release. Right. Should we do the same in the U.S., the J&J &J and the others? We have a recombinant protein vaccine. We're scaling the 1.2 billion doses in India. Absolutely no one from the U.S. government has ever even talked to us about bringing that into the U.S. So there's a lot more I think we could do on that end. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.